If you're waiting for the delivery of a victim, it's important to get set up ahead of time as, instead of waiting until he gets here and then trying to set it up. So we have time, and so we have a stretcher here, and um, what we want to do is package them up and get them into the ambulance. So we need insulation, which we have this sleeping bag for, and we'll get it set up. And we also will have a piece of plastic that we're going to use for a vapor barrier. And a vapor barrier, as most of us know, is good to, to stop evaporative heat loss and to keep the wind off. But another important thing that people don't think about is that the vapor barrier can be used to keep your insulation dry. We know that this guy, when he gets here, is going to be completely soaking wet. So we want to put the plastic on the inside of the sleeping bag. So first of all, when you set up the sleeping bag, the natural tendency for people is to put the person in the middle of the sleeping bag and now the zipper's on the top and it just causes trouble. So think about where will, it, where will he go? He's gonna be lying here like this. So set it up and then open it up. Now, so when he lies down, the sleeping bag will be done up properly. Now we have a piece of plastic here and you want a generous sized piece of plastic. There's no use skimping this. It doesn't take much volume and it's, and it's light. So let's open it up. Now remember, we're using this plastic to protect the sleeping bag. So in this case, we are going to set it up so that we will stick him in the middle of the plastic on the side of the sleeping bag. So we'll pull this down because we're not going to wrap it around his head. Okay, and now if we just fold this over. Now we have our package ready to go. And then someone can just sort of make sure it doesn't blow out of the way. And when the victim gets here, we're ready to go. This extraction procedure should occur in conjunction with normal first responder checks for ABCs, spinal and other secondary injuries. So when the rescuers bring the victim in, they're gonna be observing two main principles, to be gentle as possible and to keep the victim horizontal. So when they get here, we'll just open it up and they will just lay him gently into our cocoon. And here they come. So now the rescuers are going to just put him in position, be very gentle. Okay, so start with bringing the plastic up around the feet and then we can put the wrap around. We do not have to wrap it tightly. Remember, we're just protecting the insulation. And make sure that you don't put the plastic over the face. And now the insulation will stay dry. The plastic is stopping evaporative heat loss and protecting him from the wind. And take your time to get him done up. If we take an extra minute here, that's just fine. Excellent, we're just securing the victim into the stretcher. That's a good job, guys. That was a really nice rescue. The guys on the beach set everything up ahead of time. There's no use waiting until the victim gets here and then everybody's always rushing around. And they set it up so that the most important thing was that the plastic was going to protect the sleeping bag from getting wet. And they put him on the sleeping bag so that when they did it up, he was naturally in the right position. And uh, the rescuers, uh, the two main principles are to be gentle as possible and to keep the victim horizontal. And they put them in and they took their time and they zipped them up and then they just took them to the ambulance.